And we're now going to have a look at solving equations that give us negative answers. Now, you've got to remember there's nothing wrong with having a negative value for x. x can stand for any number. So x could be a fraction, it could be a negative, it could be a decimal, um, it could be any one of those things. But the process is still the same. 2 times something plus 10 gives us 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is undo or do the inverse of adding 10, which is subtracting 10. And to keep my equation balanced, I'm going to subtract 10 from the other side. So that leaves me with 2x equals, now 4 take away 10, start at 4 and count down 10, gets me to minus 6. Now, 2 lots of x, or 2 times x is minus 6, so dividing both sides of the equation by 2. 2 divided by 2 is just 1, so it's with 1x. And then a minus divided by a plus is a minus, so 6 divided by 2 is 3. Minus divided by plus is a minus 3, so x is minus 3. Equation done. Next one. 3x minus 2 equals minus 14. So we've got a negative number on the other side of the equation this time. Process is still the same. First of all, sort out this take away 2. So the opposite taking away 2 is adding 2. And then we have to do the same to the other side. So we're left with 3x equals, well, minus 14 plus 2. So we start at minus 14 and count up 2. That gets us to minus 12. Now we divide both sides of the equation by 3, which leaves us with x equals, well, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Negative divided by positive is negative. So we've got two equations there that have got negative solutions that are solved in exactly the same way.